Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and this is how to create an FPS battle horde game in Unity and welcome to episode 11. In this tutorial we're going to create the ability to drop an ammo crate every let's say 20 seconds and we're also going to add in a sound effect for when we pick up that ammo crate. Don't forget, click the subscribe button and click on the bell icon as well to stay up to date with every tutorial still to come in this series and everything else on game development on my channel. With that in mind, let's get to work. So we're going to change a few things around in this uh, tutorial and what I realistically want to do is remove the script that we actually have on ammo crate and attach it to a separate object because what we want to do is instantiate this particular object but not have the script attached to it because if you do you'll end up multiplying it just over and over and over and that's too much for us to handle here and we just need one script to randomly drop it rather than be on the script. So first and foremost, let's add in a sound effect. Now, I've added a sound effect into my sound effects folder. It's this one, ammo pickup, and I've dragged and dropped it into the sound effects folder for the audio. And you can get this if you head over to my site, downloads and assets, FPS battle hall game, tutorial number 11, you can get it right there. So let's add the sound effect to this crate. So if we go to ammo crate, I go to ammo collect. Uh, let's go to the ammo collection script. And on here, let's add in the new variable, which is going to be public audio source. And we'll call it pick up semicolon. Now it's going to work in pretty much the same way as it does with our pistol. So when we fire a pistol, it goes bang, 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 obviously like a pistol would. Um, but instead of it being on command when that sound effect is played, it's played as soon as we collect it, i.e. enter the trigger. So we can go down here and put pick up dot play open close bracket semicolon and save now what that means is we have to add that sound effect to a new object and if we let the script compile and head to our fps controller and if we follow it down the hierarchy we have the sounds we have the effects and the pistol shot there so i'm going to hold control and press d to duplicate that pistol shot and then let's rename this to ammo pick up and let's attach that sound effect over in this section right here the audio clip like so now let's go back on to ammo collect and let's drag and drop ammo pick up into this variable slot right there so that means as soon as we play our game, look for our ammo crate, let's go and pick it up and hear the sound. There we go. What I might do actually is lower the pitch a bit, so I might put 0 0.5 on that, just to give it a bit of a deeper, grittier sound, I guess, if, if that's what you want to do. So, how do we make it so we randomly drop this crate every 20 seconds. Well, we're going to use instantiate because that's the best way to do it. So we're going to have this ammo crate as the master crate. So we need a place to store this. And one thing you'll always find when uh, developing games is a lot of things are stored under the map. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. So let's create a new game object, 3D object cube. And let's make this quite large underneath the map. So let's say 100 by 100. And then this particular ammo crate, uh, if I can find it again, let's bring it below the map and place it on top of this cube. So round about there. That's all good and well. So what we're doing here is we're making this out of sight. And if we press play now, and if I head back to scene view, we're not going to be able to see this. You can see the crate uh right there and it looks like it has four oh no it's there okay so the reason it's there it has randomly dropped which okay fair enough that is the ultimate reason um we need to play around with this a little bit so yes we have the random drop script yes we can kind of modify that a little bit so it shouldn't really be on this crate so Let's stick with our globals object and use this one as a way to manipulate this random drop. So to do that, let's drag this component, random drop, the script, onto globals up here. So drag and drop and place on globals. And it will remove it from ammo crate. And if I go into globals, you'll see that that script is there. And I'm going to turn it off. 
Now I'm going to press play and head back to the scene view and we should be able to see the ammo crate is now down here. Like I say, we're storing this underneath the map so we can use it for different purposes. So how do we make it now so as this ammo crate spawns somewhere in our map after, like I say, 20 seconds? Let's zoom back in on our first person and let's go to that ammo drop script. So double click on there to go into the ammo drop script. So firstly, we're going to have to tell this script that it is the ammo crate that we want to replicate. And to do that, we say public game object ammo crate semicolon. Now, we're going to be using some uh, clever bits of coding. Um, if I go to the handgun fire script, you remember we use a coroutine here. We're going to use something similar to drop a random ammo crate. And it's really interesting how this is actually done. So let's start by creating that coroutine. So I enumerator and we'll call this random crate fall. Open close bracket, open curly bracket. Now what we'll do is we will wait for however long we want between each drop. So in this case, I said 20 seconds, so we'll go yield, return, new, wait for seconds. Remember working with this line of code when we did the handgun? And I'll say 20 for the semicolon. So after 20 seconds, we want to run these three lines of code. So let's take those three lines of code for now. They're not gonna stay as those three lines of code. We are gonna man manipulate them even further. Uh, but for now, they'll do. So if you remember, this is the position that it has generated. And we need to tell this script in a different kind of way where we want to place this object. So what we will do is once we've generated our X position, Z position, let's then say instantiate. And in brackets, we then say what we want to instantiate. It's going to be ammo crate. That's the object we want to replicate. Now we need to say, where do we want to do it? Well, that can be done by saying new vector three, and then in brackets, X, Y, and Z, which is this right here. So basically we've replicated this little section here. So we can copy those there, place them inside the parentheses. So we're saying this is where we want it to be. So we're saying basically, uh, at this position, this position, this position. And after that, comma, quaternion, dot, identity. So you can see how all this is now coming together. So hopefully you can see that this line is no longer needed. That line is no longer needed because this script is not attached to the crate. We don't want to transform the position of this particular object, just the crate. So get rid of that line. Now we're getting to a point where we need to realistically think how we're going to duplicate this over and over every, let's say 20 seconds. Well, firstly, we need to say in our start, in fact, no, do you know what? We're going to do this in void update. I just had a quick little thought there. Let's change that from void start to void update. And in here, we're going to need a Boolean that says we are already in the process of generating an ammo crate, so we don't need to generate another. So let's add another variable in here. Public bool uh, gen crate, and by default that will be false. So that means in void update, we need to say if gen crate equals false, which it will be when it starts, we need to ask, great, that should be crate C. Make sure we do have that right, C in both. So if it is false, then let's first of all set it to true. Just so as it can't duplicate this process over and over and over and over. After that, we'll say start coroutine in brackets, random crate fall. 
open close bracket, close bracket, semicolon. That means that we're then going to jump to this section here, wait for 20 seconds, generate a position, duplicate the object, and it will drop. After that, let's reset the gen crate boolean. So gen crate equals false, semicolon, and the whole process starts over again. So let's save our script. Head back into Unity and let the script compile. And on globals, you'll see we have those extra variables. So ammo crate needs to be ammo crate right there. And let's press play. So we're going to have to wait just 20 seconds. Um, but after 20 seconds, we should see a new object appear in the hierarchy. And that is telling us that that crate has been duplicated. So any second now, we should see it. It's coming. It's coming. I should have set it to probably 10 seconds or something like that. Speed things along a little bit more. And you know what? We've just been sat here for 20 seconds and I didn't even activate the script because remember I turned it off earlier. Silly me. Okay, well, the script is active now, so let's see this in action. You can see that the boolean is ticked to say it's true. So any second now we should see a crate appear in the hierarchy. Any second. Come on. There we go. So it has duplicated. And I don't know where it's fallen. Oh, there it is. There. So let's collect it. And let's see if another one is going to generate. Hopefully it should do. There we go. We've just seen it appear in the hierarchy. Can't see where it is though. I can't see it. Okay, let's go to the scene view. Double click it. Oh, it's over there. Okay, well, it's generated, so I'm happy with that. Is in here somewhere? Oh, there. And another one has also generated, and there it is. And you can see our ammo increasing each and every time. So, there we are. Next tutorial, what we're going to do is we are going to uh, probably look at some more UI. So we'll have some animated UI to say ammo dropping, something like that, and see where we get to. So, until that next tutorial, guys, thank you very much for watching.